Okay, I'm happy with the uh, setup of my first set of own guides I've fitted. I've got them now within, well, within a thousandth of an inch. They parallel, uh, the, the, the widths are equal, etc, etc. So I'm now ready for drilling those first own guides. I've got them, uh, I've still got them wedged in with that little screw jack I made on each side. And I'm just doing them in pairs. One pair at a time. I've got it set up in my workbench. Got the end packed up. Got my level on. Everything is level. So I'm just about to drill the screw holes now. Right, I'm going steady there because I don't want to go and push the horn guide away from the frame. It is jacked in, but it's not jacked in um, over tight where it would maybe have a chance to splay the slot out a fraction. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fix a, a small clamp for Need to move the clamp now. I don't know why I didn't think of this to start with. If I just nip it on ed on edge there, it'll hold it. over to the other side now so I'm going to just do that other side turn it over same again then we'll move on right then I've, I've, I've actually now tapped the horn guides M4 and I'm fitting the last one in now uh, I just had to file in the very corner of, of this one it wasn't quite seating in the corner and it would just it would just throwing it over a bit. But now I've done that, I think that's okay. So I'm just tightening these bolts up and I'll recheck. Right, where's my straight edge? Are you zoomed in enough there? Now according to that straight edge, they're absolutely bang on they are. Same with the other side. No problem that. I can see with, with my eye that they, they're all square. Um, I'll just do a quick measurement and see if they're consistent with measurement. Just 
seven. Yeah, so it's 58, it, 1.358 at the top, 1.359 at the bottom. Can't work that way. That's one point three six zero at the bottom and one point three five nine at the top. So I've got I've got approximately a thou difference from top to bottom and from each side this one is fractionally wider by a couple of thou and I'm happy with that more than happy to say it's not been machined so uh, basically now it's just a matter of repeating two more times what I've done on this side and also you've got to make sure that you get you get the bit that stuck out the frame, you've got to make sure that they're in line as well. I mean, if you've machined them up in your milling attachment in your lathe or on your milling machine, and they, they took a thousandth of an inch or so, there's no. There's, you're looking at my screwdrivers, aren't you? I thought you were. I'll just say that again. All oh, the joys of videoing. Uh, I'm basically a thou within a thou top to bottom on both sides, and then one side to the other side is within two thou. So I can't I can't grumble at that to say uh, to say that I've just fitted them. Without machining them uh, once they're in situ. Right, so now you've had a good look at my screwdrivers, I'm going to go and get my dinner and then I'm going to come back after dinner and make a start on the middle set. Then there's just the end set to do and then I can move on to um, probably making axle boxes after that. But there's another two or three hours work here yet doing these. Okay, so I'll catch you on my next video or my next clip. Bye for now.